Another video with Shoti Malodi. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video and this channel to your friends and family. Now I'm Shane for she, more she. vibes. Yeah, you already know. Hey, family! Hey, you know why it's family? Because you are fam and you're the best. Family! Family! Are you being creative and whatnot? Look at us. Come on now. Okay, so basically we're, but we're going to tell you a three-part story. This is how we almost lost our jobs. Yup. When we did our video, I think the first one. Yeah. We said once we reach 10 subscribers, we're going to tell you the story of yeah. what went down. But there's a back story to that story. So today we're going to tell you Roxy's side of the story. Mm. Then my side of the story. Then the actual story. Okay. Reason why we wear the same clothes in three different videos <laughs> is because we're shooting it on the same day. Yes. Efficiency, you know, we're smart for we're you. We're smart, not harder. Yeah, okay. You know? uh, yeah. But one day we're gonna not wear yeah. the same thing in three different videos because we will yeah. be vlogging. And we're gonna be doing this for a living, probably. Uh, Darling. Support us and then maybe we can do it for a living. Uh, um, so I just wanted also to let you guys under see something, understand something, see something. Woo! <laughs> uh, there are five Sundays in a month. We are yes. going to release videos Three every Sunday. Second. Yes. Every second Sunday. Yes. So yeah, it's consistency, but not the kind that you deserve. So if you want the one that you know you deserve, tell your friends to subscribe. You know. Yes, then we can post every week, guys. Because it's going to be our But job. also, school is hitting us at the moment. Exactly. So, so that's why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah. But yeah. we're giving you content nonetheless. So let us get started with the, the story. Video. Time. With the, the story. Tea. Okay, so another disclaimer if you think this is you, <laughs> it probably is you. Um, because why would you think disrespectfully? It's you? Yeah, disrespectfully, disrespectfully, it's you. Yeah, no, disrespectfully, <laughs> it's you. And like, if you like why would you think it's you if it's not you do you know what i mean if it resonates mm. that much it's probably you wear the shoes um, cinderella yeah wear the shoes okay and i am also not going to embellish but omit like information and um i'm not going to give you the courtesy of giving you a name your name is a in the story <laughs> thank you um yes. the person the the second person involved your name is B. I'm not taking my time to give you a name. The only reason we're even speaking about the story is because we nearly lost our it's jobs. We almost <laughs> lost our jobs. It was not in our plans to do the story, okay? We have yeah. a lot of other things that we really wanted to do. But you know what? For the family, family! For the family, <laughs> we're gonna tell them a story time because we're family. We're the best, you know? Um, we're the best family on the internet for now. Um, but and then we're gonna become an empire together forever, you know the vibes. All right, let me start the story. It was in high school. Um, so this story starts in grade nine, right? And then it spreads to grade twelve. Okay. So huh, four years of trauma. Send me a therapist now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop joking. High that. school was not a fun time, especially for me. It really wasn't. Um, mainly because I didn't have supportive friends. If you were my friend in high school and we still talk today, it means that you were the real one. Um, if we don't talk today, you were really just not on my side. But we had good times and we had times where we thought we were gonna be forever friends, and I respect you for that. But disrespectfully, take your L. Um, <laughs> Keep it. Take your L. Take your L and keep it. Gracefully. <laughs> like, <laughs> please. Um, Kiki and I weren't even friends in high school. Yeah. But, and we used to speak occasionally, but she's sitting on my couch in my house. So, disrespectfully, take it, please. So, um, in grade nine, 
Yeah. We went to grade 9 camp. Your grade 9 camp was the best. I won't lie. What was grade 9 camp? Uh, uh, uh. It was just a camp. It was just a camp. There was no... The grade 9. Yeah. There was a lot of things involved there that I can't say. Because other Where people... Where was this? Yo, I forgot. I, I forgot. I can't believe that's a thing. Grade 9. I wasn't there anyway. You were there? Been, no. Obviously, I wasn't there because I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, there was grade 9 camp. Great nine camp was just the best, honestly. And then there was the sky, it was the best. Even you were not there. Aish. And you were not there. The subliminal. It's the subliminals for me. It, it, ah. it was nice. It was nice. Great nine camp was the bomb.com and it made me want to go to every other single camp after that. I know you guys are gonna fast forward to when I start the story, so let me just start the story. <laughs> family let me start the story family um so in grade nine camp a and i literally had a connection that's where we really started having a connection also understand that we were friends okay so we were friends before this whole thing mm -hmm. had gone down if you know the quote where they say um i don't want us to ruin our friendship but now i regret meeting you thank you we're applicable so um in that grade 9 camp, unfortunately, we couldn't really do anything because he had his own things going romantically. Okay, so and we were friends as well, so we didn't want to mess that up, of course. And so, you know, we didn't really, it, it didn't go anyway, you know, but it was always that hence when he was like. <laughs> also, he made me coffee. Uh, the, every camp. morning, yeah, every morning. How do you like your coffee? <laughs> That's sweet. And I was like, mm. My heart pelt potatoes for you. My heart went pitter patter. <laughs> <laughs> feel like I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's how I felt. That's yes. how I felt. So I'm trying to show you that it was genuine. Okay. And you, even on the on the bus back, on the bus ride back, we're like, how are we gonna do this? You know, how how's this gonna affect our friendship? Like, how's it gonna affect the people? So y'all are feeling each other. Yeah, now. we are. We're like, how's this gonna affect our normal lives? Because like that was camp. Like that's a different environment. Yeah. <laughs> so getting back into real life, how are we gonna incorporate it into our real life? How are we gonna, you know, that's kind of the story of it. In and in grade nine, it was always a touch and go. Yeah. A touch and go. Yes. So at Play, like at when we're at somebody's place for like a bra and the person's there it's just like oh my gosh pizza, 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 pizza. and we would like forget that we're friends for a second open yes. uh, yeah open up to each other as if we were in a relationship that's how the the connection kind of was um strong how it became stronger but in the same breath when we go back to school he would avoid me Wait a second. Wait a second. Red flag number one. Red flag number one. He mm. would act like our friends brides and like chill us and, and those kind of things. He would be like, um, you know, we should really do this. Like we should really try this. We should really do this. We should, you know, we, and when we get back to school, I promise you, we're it's gonna like, like, yeah, we're gonna see how we're gonna implement it into our school life, how we're gonna tell our friends, how we're gonna let them know, you know. Um that never happened. Then school comes, he jiggy goes. He avoids me. No, like as in he avoids side. He avoids me. He would avoid me and the topic. So when I get up to him and I say hi, he'd be like, hi. And then if it's a no, circle, man. go to the other side and try to talk to someone else. Yes. Because he knows what I'm going to tell him about. And I remember this, this was literally me. I would honestly <laughs> always initiate the conversation. Yes. I would always be like, you said we we're gonna talk about this and whatever. He's like, yeah, I know, but you know things are complicated. Yeah, but you know what is things complicated? are complicated. Yeah. What is complicated? Yeah. Because when we spoke at the brow or whatever, he'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her today. I'm gonna tell her tomorrow. I'm gonna tell her. And then I was because obviously, because <laughs> obviously we had, we had our re like reservations about even starting a romantic relationship yes. because we were friends. Yes. You know, and because we both had things happening in our lives. Okay, so I'm also taking accountability. I'm holding myself accountable. Okay? I'm holding and that's myself on growth. accountable. That's on maturity. That's on maturity. That's on growth. And also let me take you a bit back. In grade nine camp, I was like, yeah, no, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make my life in such a way that you will be able to come into it. And mm. I just didn't because your girl was curd. 
your girl your girlfriend was scared. I think me. that's where I hurt him. Scared of me. I hurt him there. That's when I hurt him. How? When I was like, cause I was like, I'm going to make a way, like kind of like move things around ah, so you okay, can, okay, okay, so okay. that you can oh. be in my life and fix my yes. life, and then you can be in my life. And I just didn't do it. Oh. I just didn't do what I said I was going to do, and that's why I hurt him. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna disrespectfully take my L. <laughs> that's my <laughs> taking her L as well. Accountability. Yes. Uh, yes. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. But but you know, as time went on, I honestly felt like at some point he was really trying to hurt me. At some point, he was really trying to get me back, even though I did what I did not on purpose. Yes. And so. As time went on, it was a touch and go, it was an on and off, it was a, oh, at bra, you said this, that's cool, you're avoiding me. <laughs> yes. And if I'm not mistaken, in grade 10, I was like, cut, it's not here. In whose house? Do you know me? <laughs> Do you know my name? <laughs> Do you know me? <laughs> no. I was like, no. Don't be strong. No, dude. Have dude. Some like. St- We're looking for designs, we're looking for this, we're looking for that, we're looking for this, okay? And A is very stylish. Okay, mm-hmm. I can give him that. A is very stylish. So indeed he is. He is. Okay. He knows his shoes. He knows he's like his suits where they come from. So when a suit comes from here and looks like this. When it comes from here, it looks like this. He's yes. very, very stylish. Okay. So I was like, oh pressure's on. I'm not stylish. I don't care about clothes. <laughs> I really don't care about clothes, okay? <laughs> I don't care about clothes. So, essentially, what then had happened was we started planning. Okay. And Pinterest. Oh. Shout out to my homie Pinterest. 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 Pinterest was like, I was like, all I know is that I want something African y. Yay. Um, and I want something dramatic. I've got to stand out. Oh, oh, come on. I have to. I have to. If I find the pictures for the metric dance, insert them. Insert. Okay. Yeah, or pictures, then, Roxy. <laughs> Future, <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> Agency. You, you'll see them. So, after, after that whole thing, excitement around it, everyone in our friendship group are like, oh, yes, yes, you guys are doing oh, the friend, thing. Oh, friend, oh, you guys friend. are doing the thing. Okay, this is where things get serious. This is serial. Let me introduce you to B. B for best friend. Um, is B my B? <laughs> no. no. Oh, B, B is, is my best friend. Ah. Yeah. B is my best friend. People used to confuse us and think we were twins, literally. Mm. We were both short. We both shorty maloti. At shorty underscore maloti. You know Follow the us. Subscribe. 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 Hit that like button. Put on your post notifications so you always know when we're posting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, B and A dated. Unprovoked. Unprovoked. They dated for real. It was a real relationship. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. yes. From that point on that I realized that nobody, nobody will even think of disrespecting me. If you think of disrespecting yes. me, I will dream about it and you're cut. Just because I dreamt about it. Before yeah, you did it. Because you thought about it. <laughs> because you thought about it. That is deep. Thank you. Okay. Good night, America. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you keep bringing up this good night, America thing. It's you. It's not you. Okay. You said, good night, America. And I was just like, okay, shut <laughs> Okay, that was the end of the story. Okay, that was the end of the story, guys. So there's, I think there's much more to it. Yes, but we're telling the just the it, background. It's so that you understand the disrespectfulness of what went down. The when day we, we almost got by it, <laughs> you guys definitely want to stay for that. But obviously, we're doing this in parts. Yeah. So part two will be my side of the story. Then the actual day, what happened? Because we wouldn't be talking about this just for fun. Like yeah. there's no need to talk about someone from your past. There but isn't. what <clears throat> done happened? What done happened? When they come into your life and alter what is happening in your life, a good thing that is happening for you. And they try to be magicians. 
something, but we're gonna come with our conspiracy. Your conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah. Conspiracy. <laughs> about what went down. Yeah. But yeah, check you in the next video. Thank you for for watching this video. Bye, family. Bye, family. family.